Today we're going to assemble the cheapest 3D printer kit on eBay and see if it's any good. It could be pretty good, it could be pretty bad, but there's only one way to find out. If you're following my boat project, you're probably looking for an update right about now. The fresh motor is in, the EFI is 95% hooked up, and it's running really well. So we're almost ready to hit the water. Except the weather sucks, so we're going to do something else today. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent a little bit of time cruising eBay, looking at 3D printers and wondering if the ones that are super cheap are actually worth anything. Well... For some reason, I decided to go through there and buy pretty much the cheapest one they had, and today, we're going to find out if it's any good. Before I purchased the printer, the advertisement clearly said, easy assembly of five components, which is clearly not the case the instant you open the box. It might be easy, but there's a hell of a lot more than five components here. My printer kit came in a fairly large box with a healthy amount of parts, but everything seems to be there, so I think we're ready to go. I printed the instructions that came on the CD that was included with the kit. I don't know who 10 years is, but he better know his stuff. I do a pretty good amount of ordering from China, but it's usually not super complicated stuff. But so far, I've ordered two CNC kits and this 3D printer kit, and the instructions for all three of those things have been terrible. Awful every time. So it's pretty reliable that you're going to get bad instructions, but... It's really not that bad once you kind of start to figure out the rhythms, and a little bit of Google goes a long way, so figuring this stuff out isn't really all that difficult. You just really have to be patient. The assembly is fairly basic, so even without the instructions, you should be able to figure it out. The only thing you should be mindful of is try not to touch the exposed terminals on the controller, because static electricity from your body can damage the board. Taking an extra minute and checking the orientation of the parts and your instructions will save you time from making dumb mistakes like I did. Assembly of some components is more complicated than other ones, so read the directions, take your time, and eventually it'll come together. One of my bigger complaints is the wiring for this is pretty messy and ugly, but it was all just plugging in connectors that were already wired up so there's not a whole lot I can do about it so we'll just have to worry about it later. The display and control interface are actually pretty well made and easy to use, and best of all, the printer actually works. Not only was the setup pretty simple, but the quality wasn't actually very bad with a little bit of dialing and working things out. The first program that I ran was the Ultimaker bot that came on the CD instructions that I received, and then I started messing around with writing programs of my own, and this printer is obviously pretty capable. The first real project that I wanted to make was an adapter that would fit into my GoPro tripod. I like the tripod a lot, but sometimes I don't film with the GoPro, sometimes I film with my phone, so I want to be able to slip my phone into there. I wrote the program up really quickly. Unfortunately, the software that it came with wasn't translated from Chinese. When I wasn't able to get the quality that I was looking for, changing parameters didn't seem to be getting me anywhere because I didn't actually know what parameters I was changing. Typically, I'm a pretty stubborn guy, but I just went ahead and gave up and downloaded English software and that ended up working just fine. Everything that I've noticed, the most important thing that I can find is you definitely want to dial your speed down. This will help a lot with your quality and also you want to adjust your layer height. So if you're not able to get the detail that you're looking for, if you have a smaller or a lower layer height, you should be able to get higher quality prints with this. Just like anything else, whenever you're learning something new, there's always going to be frustrations and there's a lot to learn. But overall, I'm extremely happy with this purchase and I would definitely buy it again. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, Strange Garage has a whole lot of projects coming up. They're all really exciting and we're trying to do a video every Wednesday. So just go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see more of that. If you do enjoy my content, I'm really glad that you found me. And thanks always for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.